Hey everyone, Dogmatic71 here, and welcome to Dogmatic DIY. Today, I'm going to show you how to make breadboard, um, what do you call it, stovetop cover, a noodle board, um, it's got all kinds of names, but I'm going to show you how to make it, so let's get started. So first thing you want to do for your noodle board or breadboard is to get it to the size of your stove. As you can see, there's my stove top here, it's right to the front edge here. So you want to measure it up. So I'll lift it up and I'll show you, see? Um, you want to get to the edge so it covers the whole thing, right? And then once you got it, you can kind of make the length of them and then you put your widths here. Now I have four boards, so based on how wide you need it and how wide you want the boards, you could do um, more than four, less than four, I guess it all depends. Like if you look here, mine was, I got, these were one by sixes, so they're five and a half. And four of them, I got it to just about, just under 22 here. 22 inches for the width of my stovetop. So um, I used one by sixes here, one by fours here. But you can pick and choose whatever you can pick one by fours all the way across um, but what you want to do is if it's not evenly maybe cut each piece evenly unless you want different sizes you can have different sizes say maybe do a couple one by sixes a couple one by fours interchange them or whatever uh, so you get actually you can get more grain if you get uh, more pieces or if you look at I don't have a lot of grain on my side pieces here right but it does uh, match nicely with my countertops. So, but I do have lots of grain in the one by sixes here. So that makes it stand out a little bit more when you get the grains. So uh, measure your stovetop first, so you know exactly what size to make it. Then you can cut your pieces of wood, whatever widths you want to fit that stovetop to cover. Okay, so let me go and cut these pieces and put them together and then we'll come back. Okay, so I got the first coat of stain on here. I'm gonna give her a light sanding, see how she looks after that. See pop some of the grain pop out. Let it sit overnight so it's definitely dry. <clears throat> so let's uh, sand it and See what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to give you an update. I did sanding and I added the second coat of the black stain, and you can see it looks good. And then what I took here is I got a stencil. So if you look here, I'll kind of show you there, like the stencil here, and kind of went in the middle here so this is the middle and then I offset it equally on both sides from the middle so it's kind of centered and this is for a business here so and then instead of just leaving it with the two K's I Decided I got a with that stencil I I ordered, uh, leaving the the link on Amazon for the stencil in the description, but uh, it came with this as well. I figured I'll put that in the middle between the two, and it kind of looks pretty good. I like that uh, that little design there. So next, once it dries, I'll put a clear coat on it. Once I put some polyurethane on it, I will 
put the handles on it and then we'll be done so let me go and put the the polyurethane on it and then get the handles ready and we'll come back and finish the video up okay so uh as you can see still some of it that's the polyurethane I'm trying to dry it one thing i gotta you gotta watch when you're putting on the poly is i want to do it over the letter separately than <clears throat> than the wood just because the paint from the letter wants to come off a little bit right so and then you'll get little specks of white around so I try to put a little bit thicker on of just you see one little speck right there of white oh, let's see if I can get that off but <clears throat> yeah that's what I was noticing when you're coming across a little bit of the white until it has some clear coat on it right that's protecting the white it'll want to come off so and you don't want it to have little white specks all over but uh looking good last step after i get a couple of coats of polyurethane on it is to put the handles so i got some old style black handles here and what you want to do is when you find the handle uh, let's see if you can see the screws there see those that'll bite into the wood because sometimes you get the handles that they come the screws come in from the back end and they don't have a pointy tip on them uh, like wood screws do and then yeah you can't put it on here because it's too wide right so i got the top piece here and then i got the boards underneath and unless you get one of those long screws i can go underneath both then it won't be long enough so but if you have your own little screws like even if these didn't come i have some black little wood screws uh three quarter inch ones that are pretty much the same size so let me get the another coat on here once this dries and then we'll get the handles on and finish it up okay so we're all done now as you can see i got the handles on here on both sides here i got about four coat well i wouldn't say about one i got four coats of poly urethane on the front uh, a couple on the back just well don't really need it but i did it anyway just to protect a little bit and what i'm going to do is put some of these felt feet on the bottom so it doesn't scratch whatever surface it's sitting on at that time and that's it so if you got any questions leave it in the comment section below hit that like and subscribe button hit that bell to be notified when i post another video and we'll talk to you later